So, okay, this is kind of my third version of uh, a little jazz uh, rhythm section thing. And uh, this is kind of like putting together a puzzle, although I think it could be done easier. I just was kind of picky as to the sounds that I wanted. So, and, uh, but this is kind of a little funky rhythm. I'll, uh, I'll just do it and then you'll, you'll kind of get the idea. But first of all, like on all the other videos, I'm going to put the hi-hat on two and four. Again, they've got a bunch of different hi-hats here, uh, but this, this one here I've got in the, the 70s kit has a nice little, it's a pedal hat. You can hear this, the sound of the, the, the foot hitting the pedal there. So I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to quantize this here uh, to a quarter note. Remember, you have to quantize. It's, uh, it's kind of a necessity, necessity if you uh, do this. So anyway... Uh, I'm going to go on beats two and four. Um, let's make sure I got my metronome on here. Click during recording. That's good. So let me uh, hit record. So I'm going to start recording on uh, bar three. Two, three, four, one. Okay, so now I have my um, uh, hi hat on. Two and four. I'm gonna. Um, well, I gotta set my snap up here to a bar, so when I cut some of this stuff, it cuts it nice and cleanly for me. I'm gonna just uh, um, not loop it, but uh, do a repeat on this. So I'm gonna do 24 bars again. Um, just a blues in C. I don't know if you can see this. It didn't show up very well. Should have made this bigger down here. It's just a blues in C. Real simple one. So I'm going to uh, hit Command uh, R, and I'm going to go uh, 20. That's actually 23 because if two bars, let's see, the two choruses of 12 bars. And I have one chorus. This is the math I failed at, at Huntington Beach High School. <laughs> that was horrible. Uh, so now I have um, here. I've got. Um, oh, let's play this. One, two. So now over here, uh, I'm going to add the uh, the kick, and I found a kick. Let me see if I can find it on the. Oh, there it is, on the um, Studio Brush Kit, and uh, it had a little more punch to it than some of the other ones. And um, reminds me of, I think Ray Brinker's got a yellow drum kit that kind of has a kick drum that sounds kind of like that. I'm not sure. Ray Brinker's a great drummer out here in Southern California, and uh, one of my one of my favorites. So I'm going to do um, it's kind of a, a funky rhythm, like boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom. So I'm going to put that on. So um, and I'm quantizing here. Oh, I better quantize this. Yeah, to a eighth note triplet. The, the jazz feel seems to work really nicely in there. There's some other swing feels I got in here. This one works fine for me, so without going too crazy. All right, here we go. So, uh, record. I'm keeping this at 130 so it's not too fast so I can quantize it. Okay, so now I have that. Uh, I'm going to uh, slice and dice and uh, hit delete. And so now I have that. It lasts for four measures. It's quantized there. So I'm going to repeat this, I don't know, times four, times, I don't know, six, up to six times. Let's see how that works. Oh, probably one more than I'm supposed to. I can just point at it and hit delete. And that's the end of that. Uh, and so now I'm going to do the rim, um, and I'm going to do the rim, um, I think I'm going to do the rim on two and four. Okay, so uh, this is out of the, the Studio Toolkit, and again, if you don't know where to find these things, uh, I've got this track highlighted, and it shows up here, and down at the bottom are all the logic sounds. Pardon me, those are all my presets I've done for other uh, gigs, <laughs> Jack Sheldon gigs, and all kinds of sh things, swing kittens, and uh, here's all the Logic uh, instruments. 
And so down here under drums and percussion, under acoustic drum kits, uh, is the studio toolkit. So that's what I use. The studio toolkit's kind of cool. It has, uh, it just has a whole bunch of different, a uh, whole bunch of the same instruments. So a whole bunch of tom-toms, a whole bunch of uh, hi-hats. And so you can kind of go, you pick and choose from that uh, toolkit to, to make stuff work. So I'm gonna use, um, find the rim here. Well, let me drag it down, see if I can. There we go. I'm gonna use that rim. There's the other one, which is kind of wooden. I'll use the, let that one that's got a little more bite to it. So I'm gonna hit, um, I guess I'm gonna hit two and four. Let me see. Three, four, two. Maybe it's just on two. So I'm just hitting that on two. Doesn't sound like it's doing that much, huh? We're getting there though. It's a puzzle. It's a freaking puzzle. That's what this is. And um, and when the puzzle's done, it looks great. <laughs> All right, so now my rhythm section is, and I, I could have quantized that to uh, quarter notes. And especially if you're doing this for the first time, you maybe want to do that. Because it's just playing quarter notes. So we have here, um, Okay, so now what I'm going to do is add uh, my tom-toms. I'm going to quantize this to eighth notes. And um, so uh, this is a studio toolkit again. And I'm going to, let me see if I can get this into the camera here. Uh, there we go. I think that's in there. I've got two, and I'm going to go ba -dum, boom. It's got one, no, ba -dum, boom, two, three, ba -dum, boom. So it's one, two, three, ba -dum, boom. And notice I accent that last one, and the first one's lower. One, two, three, ba -dum, boom. Ba -dum, boom. Now, I'm not going to have, I know myself, and I, I don't have a lot of luck in doing these kind of, and that doesn't sound hard, but. For me, it's it's uh, it's a little more difficult. So what I'm going to do is take the tempo and drag it way down here, uh, maybe like to 100, and I can go even lower. I've done things where I've done it at like 80. Maybe I'll do it at 80. Just just go down there a little bit. I was 90, and so it's one, two, three, but one, two, three, but and I got to make that little accent, so because uh, that gives it the little pizzazz. But boom, that little thing on the end of it. All right, so here I go. Let's just slow down so it makes it a little easier to do. Maybe one, two, three, ba doom, boom. Two, three, ba doom, boom. Okay, two, here we go. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Okay, so I have that. And uh, I'm going to slice this here again. Again, this was quantized uh, here at, at eighth notes. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. So now let me bring it back up to tempo. And this is not cheating. This is just a <laughs> this is just survival. <laughs> so what did I have it like 130 or something like that? And I'm going to uh, cop. I'm going to point at point at it. That means highlight it and then hit Command R. And uh, there we go. So now I've got so now I've got this little pattern here. Now this, so each of these are kind of um, repeated. So we have here we go. Okay, so now I got my ride 70s kit and I use this kit for the rides and I'm doing this as eighth note triplets because it's got some really cool um, um, it's got some really cool noises. Ride symbols to it. Um, a and that. And I snuck in this one. I found this. And I, I couldn't even tell you how to do it anymore. I did it one day. I was in a just a, one of those modes where I pulled the China symbol out of the Asian kit 
which had a China symbol in it. I, f I found it, and I, s and I managed to sneak it into a drum set. I couldn't tell you how to do it for my, save my life right now, so, but I did it, which I'll always be thankful for, because I use that as kind of a regular, regular thing. So now I can use, uh, and I found also hitting the, the, the China symbol with another ride symbol. It has a nice little, little sound to it. So I'm gonna do uh, like quarter notes, like you would have a normal ride pattern, everybody kind of ding, 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 ding. And uh, so I'm going to do uh, two choruses of that. Okay, so really all we're, the, the drum is just kind of doing a basic groove. And this kind of beat is just that. So here we go. So, um, so I'm going to ding, 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 and quarter notes, ding, 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 everything. Here we go. And I missed it. <laughs> How about that? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Here's the second chorus. This is just a 12 bars blues. There we go. Okay, and that's quantized. And again, you, you have to quantize drums because um, uh, unless you're uh, the most amazing player of all time. Uh, it's just it's just really difficult to to do. Uh, the other thing is I'm going to add a crash, and um, I think what I'll do is use the crash from the uh, the '70s kit, and uh, it's actually I'm going to base it off of this one. Now I haven't put this in here yet, but I was, this is an interesting thing you can do. I'm going to add a crash here, but I need to add a track. But I want to use the same patch because that's where I have a kind of a decent crash. So what I do is I highlight the track I want to double, and I go up here to this little squirrely thing with the little bat on it and do that, and that makes a duplicate track of that sound. So now, um, and I can change it by pointing at it and go, okay, I'm gonna change it to crash. And then hit return, and there I am. So now I've got crash. All right, so I'm going to hit record. Oh, there's my crash. It's a bit loud. <laughs> Again, I like to use the crash kind of, you know, like it's there's two choruses of this, so I'll probably hit a crash and down be the first chorus. It's a 12-bar blues, so each 12 bars. So here we go. Uh, I'll just quantize it to a quarter note. That way there's no problem there. I can get fancy, but what's the point? No. Is my microwave going off? Well, there's food happening. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Here comes F, F, boom, 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 F, boom. C, boom, it's against the 12-bar blues. Here comes G, F, C. Here we go, one, two, three, four. There, I did my big, uh, <laughs> did my big crashes here. Okay. Actually, I don't have to trim this. It is what it is. All right. So now I've got that. So now I'm going to add. Uh, I'm going to add our bass. Uh, and it's the. Um, I use the uh, upright jazz bass. Um, and you can go find that in uh, in the basses, acoustic basses. So, so I'm going to do. Um, Basically, kind of a two or doing what the, the kick drum was doing. Just remember that every time you, there's a new root playing, you've got to play that. Uh, you got to play the root. So if it's a downbeat on the root, you got to play that. So I'm going to do two choruses of this and then uh, and then end it. So here's my, and I'm going to do uh, I'm going to do an eighth note triplet. Ooh, did I? See here, I want to make sure. Oh, what did I do there? I, I, 
quantize that to some weird, who knows what that is. Uh, Got to be eighth note triplets. Double check your work. <laughs> At my age, you find stuff that, uh, and you go, why the heck did I do that? What was I thinking about? <laughs> it's like you think you're drinking and you're not drinking. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Here's our little band. Uh, 130, I can. I feel pretty good about that being in my wheelhouse that I can play it and it's going to quantize correctly. If you if you feel like it's it's too fast uh, for you to play it and get it quantized, just slow this whole thing down. It doesn't make any difference how you know. I'll go to 125 just for the fun of it. And uh, so I'm going to hit uh, record and play my blues. One, two, three, four. So now that I think that's going to be pretty good. I put it up to 130 again. Uh, be good. Do, 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 do. I like it. Doing good. All right, so I'm going to add my guitar, and I usually just play like um, tritones, but you can play like 13th chords. Or ninth chords, or augmented ninths. I like to use. Uh, I like that. I, I used to uh, play with uh, Ron Eshte, who's this incredible guitar player. I've got two great guitar players. I work with uh, Mike Higgins and, and Ron Eshte. And Ronnie, I used to work with when I was a kid. And he'd always do this little thing when we play, and that was kind of a nice little thing that he could play. Um, has a little thing to it, a little magic to it. So um, you can either quantize this or not quantize it. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll try it without quantize, uh, just to get kind of a good feel. For those of you who aren't uh, keyboard players, uh, and I'm going to do, uh, you, you might want to keep it quantized. And so I'm going to do like a Charleston or four beats to the measure. I'm going to just do like variations of that, and I can use the tritones. Okay, so here it comes. So it's going to be a variation of a whole bunch of different things. Three, four. I think I got to play the last chord on the end of this, so I'm going to kind of sneak my way into uh, doing a. Uh, uh, I'm going to press record at the last possible second and get a the last chord in this thing here. There we go. You can do that real easily. Also, another thing you can do, just for the silliness, I'll do it real quick, is if you want to punch in, uh, there is this arrow here which uh, you can get to. Uh, if you can't get to it, um, hold down uh, this area here and then hold down uh, Option. Uh, and then it, there's, then it has this thing called Customize Control. 
and then you can get here and uh, do auto punch and that'll show that thing there and what you do is with auto punch is you can basically kind of choose uh, I'm going to take bar off here so it's a little more easy to function with. I have a crazy cat over here who's giving me all kinds of trouble, so bear with me. This little red thing is the uh, punch in thing. So you can kind of move that around. You've got to practice with it. Uh, you can close it up. Uh, the hand means you can move it around. So I could have punched in here, like right there, you know, and then gotten out. Uh, this, is, this thing up here is, it, this, is this, this is where it'll play. So this will give you some, op uh, if I put it over here, this will give you some opportunity. And then it'll punch in here, boom. And then it'll get out here. Not that I need to get out on that. I can move this over. So I got to punch it in that way. And all you have to do is hit record right away. And it won't record here as it's playing, but it, as soon as it gets here, it'll automatically record. So that's a good thing to know. Uh, punching in and punching out is like everything. It's, it's funny with all these programs like Logic or, or whatever program you're using, if you're doing jazz, it's really hard to find information on the stuff that you need to do to create this, this kind of music. This program will do a billion different things, but uh, trying to find in the information of like, well, how do you do that? Or a quick punch in and punch out. That's a whole different thing. There's Nicole. Hi, she's out there. She's been uh, out in the, doing her gym work and just pouring and Oh, I got two cats that are staring at me here. Uh, okay, so anyway, uh, so now what do we got here? Let me play this back. Uh, I didn't quantize, but let's see if that makes any difference. Oh, wait a minute. The cat's stepping on my keyboard here. I've got to get that cat off here. There you go. It's, you know what cats do when they get on the keyboard. Let's see here. Okay, so there's that. Um, so now I think I'll add, uh, I can either add a piano. I've got a nice organ sound here. Um, let me see. Let's see if it's on. Or I can do piano. Maybe just do piano. I can use the organ as a background, actually. Um, now, if I'm going to do piano, I have to move over to my keyboard that's on this other side here. And it's raining in Southern California. And I'm going to take <laughs> this particular room I'm in. My studio is like a, a leaking sieve. And so I'm uh, doing my best. I have all kinds of pots and pans and stuff all around to try and catch the the fray. All right, let's see if I can get over here. And uh, yeah, I'll do that. All right, so piano. So I'm just going to comp and then uh, make it work. Uh, 130, I think I was a little higher. Was that 135 or something like that? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Rhythm section is going to go with me wherever I go. So here we go. Three, four, one, two. Okay. But I should start on time. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you hit Command, I did a, a, a. I started too early. I do this all the time. If you hit Command Z, it gets rid of what you just did. And but don't hit it too much because it'll get rid of the next thing you did and get rid of the next thing you did. So, uh, so now I have to be a little more patient here. So one, two, a one, two, three. <laughs>
we go. That's kind of cool. A little, little bouncy rhythm section here. Bring the piano down a little bit. Bring up the guitar, maybe. And that, uh, let's see, that ride cymbal sounds a little thing just for the grins of it I think uh, on the studio kick uh, I've got uh, an EQ on here well I've got a lot of bottom end on it I don't know maybe, maybe I've got enough bottom end on it I can change it by moving that I can take some of the highs off of it this is all kind of picky stuff um, the other thing that, that to add maybe on this kind of beat is your, uh, your conga, your jazz conga, which most people hate. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I love it. I grew up with it. So it's one, one, so uh, one, that's one, two, it's on two. So let me play that and just do that. I'm going to quantize this though. Any kind of, anytime you do a drum part, you got to quantize it. Uh, eighth note uh, triplets. Ding, 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 ding. There we go. And I'll start on B2. Now that's just a pattern that I'm just going to use over and over again. You know, if you're doing Latin stuff, sometimes you want to vary it a bit, but uh, I think I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to repeat this. Cut this like that. And then you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a tambourine. Uh, I found this on the SoCal kit. It's hard to find a tambourine in Logic that I like. But the SoCal kit has, uh, oh, my, my Lulu wants to go out. Oh, well, I'll, I'll figure this out. There's a tambourine in the SoCal kit. And I'll talk about the SoCal kit on the next one. Uh, that's kind of a thing that my son turned me on to that uh, Logic had. I didn't know it had this drum set. It's kind of hidden a little bit, but it comes with all the new ones. So I'm going to just hit the, the uh, tambourine on two and four, just to add a little pizzazz. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now I have that, and what I'm going to do is... Um, Ding, ding, ding. Take this and repeat this, um, what did I say, six times, five times? What did it come out to? I can't remember. Look, it came out to five times. <laughs> How cool. So now I have this. So it's, it's swinging a little bit more. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the other thing is, I, I, uh, this was on a previous thing I did, this uh, mini skirt tune that I did. I found some clapping in the studio, and I had to cut it up so that it would actually work. And then I used, uh, to, to make it sound like more claps, I borrowed some claps from uh, the hip hop kit, and uh, uh, from the hip hop kit, and then offset them by, by a tiny bit. Um, I, w I basically took the say I, I clap I, I did a set of claps here copied it down here and uh, and then what I did was kind of uh, I moved this to off and then I highlighted this track and I moved it over ever so slightly and like you know maybe something like like that so it sounds like more people are clapping I can get rid of this uh, since I've already done that on this track I can go command Z and I'll put it back the way I wanted it. So now check this out. This is like a whole little thing going on here. And
<laughs> now I could put a little crash symbol uh, on the last note uh, in the because uh, uh, I did add a crash thing here. I could put a little crash. Well, maybe I'll just do it on the on the very end, so it sounds like it's ending. Where's my crash here? There she is. that <laughs> and I could put a little kick drum there too anyway you get the idea and uh, let's hear it one more time just for the fun and we could let's speed it up a little bit let's go 140 although 135 feels kind of good but let's see what this feels like at 140 so here's our little band I'm gonna hit command save by the way command S. And there you have it, a little swing and rhythm section. And uh, again, most of it's quantized in uh, quarter or eighth note triplets. Some things are quantized just to quarter notes because it's just the way they are. Add a little bit of percussion with uh, conga, tambourine on tune four, uh, acoustic bass kind of duplicating what the, the kick drum's doing, acoustic guitar doing like a Charleston beat uh, or uh, you know using uh, the tritones, uh, rim, on uh, just uh, beat two, I think I just did it on beat two, and the kick was doing what the bass was doing, and the height was on tune four, and then just everybody's kind of comping in between. So there it is. Enjoy. Do this at home. See you later.